We're going to start the meeting on July 9th of the Town Council. Uh, it's 8.04. Uh, the first thing is to call to order. We're going to do the invocation. Um, Mr. Poisson, I would ask you to do the invocation. We pray, O oh Lord, for all those in our community who are responsible for our civic welfare, health, and security. May we only have a care for what will promote good government. Help us, each one, to do well the work we have to do for the good of all. Amen. Before we do the flag, I'd like to uh, say a moment of science, silence for Mrs. Dempsey, John Dempsey, and Brian Dempsey, long-term Democrats, Republicans, it depends on what week it is with John, but his mother passed away a month ago, and I'd like to have a moment of silence there. Okay, now we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag from the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I get a, a approval of the minutes from both the regularly scheduled meeting of June 11th, 2018, and a special meeting of June 25th. Is there a motion? Mr. Hardin, motion to approve. Is there a second? Mrs. Stancho, is there any discussion on it? If not, we'll call to vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Chair votes yes. Motion passes 9-0. Oppose. Oppose. So I wasn't there for the special meeting. I can't approve it. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion passes 8-1. With Mr. Kadim. Voting no. Uh, no, everybody but. Yeah, I said 8 1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 7 1. Sorry. I used to kid Beth about learning to count to 6 and 7. I got to take a remedial course myself. Okay, um, the ceremony of presentation awards, we're going to hold off till the mayor's report, so that'll be in the next couple minutes. Um, letters of resignation for information only. Ken Bishop resigned from the Stratford Housing Authority. Uh, Margaret Sheehan resigned from the Stratford Library Association. And Sarah Martin resigned from the Parks and Recreation Committee. And now I'd like to turn it over to our mayor. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'd like to first start off with the Stratford Community Services Recognition. Community Services received the Community Partner Award for, on the 21st Annual Meeting of the Southwest Regional Mental Health Board. They work to ensure a high quality mental health system for residents of South Southwestern Connecticut, Greenwich to Stratford. Community Services received this award for the outstanding efforts to promote wellness and recovery, raise mental health awareness, and reduce stigma coupled with unwavering dedication to the Southwest Regional Mental Health Board. And while we're on the um, subject of recognizing Stratford Community Services and Stratford Partnership, I'd like to um, introduce Cherie Wright and Sam Branion, who are in the back. We're going to come forward and they're going to talk about um, the Stand Tall campaign. You might remember Sam's last name, Branion, as his dad was the town manager and CAO for the town of Stratford. So we're very happy to have you guys. And Cherie, you presented so beautifully at the uh, annual meeting award. So it's nice to have you here today. Thank you. So before we start, I just wanted to pass around some of our little um, gift bags. get us started. All right, I hope everybody can hear us well. Um, first, I'll introduce Thank myself. You. Hi, for everybody that doesn't know me. Um, my name is Samuel Branion. I'm an incoming senior at um, Stratford High School. 
Um, I've been with the partnership since 2015, so that makes pretty much full th or three full years. And um, recently, I got appointed to the um, co-vice chair position in the board, so I'm happy to I'm happy to um, fulfill that commitment. And I'll just get us started first on an introduction of. Um, Again, like a refresh of the partnership. The Stratford Partnership for Youth and Families is a community coalition. Our mission is to mobilize youth and community partners to reduce youth substance abuse and create a safe, healthy, and drug-free Stratford. We are a group of over 30 youth and adults from various organizations, all with the same vision, which is to make Stratford safe, healthy, and drug-free for youth and families to thrive in. Our latest campaign is called Stand Tall with Stratford, and it was launched at our um, annual meeting here on June 18th. I'll let Sheree take over. Hi, everyone. My name is Sheree again. Um, I'm the co-chair of the Stratford Partnership for Youth and Families, and I go to Stratford High. I'm going to be a senior, so I'm almost there. Um, so just a little bit more about our Stand Tall campaign. Stand Tall with Stratford is by our community for our community, a local initiative to raise awareness of the Stratford partnership and what we do by uniting our community as a whole. We encourage everyone in Stratford to stand tall with us this summer by spreading awareness of the Stratford partnership's work and efforts by following us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, checking out our website, which is StraffordPartnership.org, placing a window cling on a glass window or door of your home, car, or business, which is in the little packets I gave you, tying a ribbon in the community, either around a tree, door handle, pole, or fence, which is also in there. Um, help us educate the community by letting Stratford Partnership leave a table tent or postcards at your business or organization. So we really want to blast stand tall with Stratford around the town so everyone can know who we are and what we represent and what our mission is. So Stratford Partnership would like to like your support to help us this summer to paint the town blue and orange with Stand Tall with Stratford. Stand Tall is meant to unify us all, and our mission is to better our youth, our families, and our town as a whole. So let's stand tall with Stratford. Thank you. Sheree, do you want the council chair and me to take a picture with you and Sam? Yes, please. Oh, also, is there any questions I forgot to ask? Any questions? Okay. Mayor's going to continue now. So on the 14th of June, I was honored to be on the Anna and Raven radio show, talking about Positively Stratford and just all the great things we're doing. Uh, on the 14th of June, we also had the high school graduations, and I happened to attend Stratford High School. On the 15th, uh, we recognized Officer Edward Manchester uh, posthumously, who was injured in the line of duty in November 15th, 1924. During a robbery, uh, Officer Manchester apprehended a criminal, but in the process he was shot in the head, believe it or not. He survived and continued 20 years of service to the town of Stratford. So um, 
we had, he had never received the Purple Heart, so we had given him the Purple Heart on that day with his granddaughter and great-granddaughter, so it was really kind of special. And um, kudos to Deputy Chief Popic, who did all the research and found, went through the records and found the details of what happened with Officer Manchester. Uh, the farmer's market started on June 18th at Paradise Green. It's every um, Monday from 2 to 6, I think, through October, so it's a great thing to go to. Um, I have yet to get there, but I'm bound and determined next Monday to go. The Ringmaster's Ball is held at Fasano's Four Season. Uh, John Fasano, who is a local businessman in town, is the Ringmaster, so that was held on the 23rd of June. We actually toured Stratford High School on June 26th to see the new building renovation. It was very, very cool, and we kind of tagged along with the Board of Education members, but they, uh, Turner is more than willing to offer a tour for the council. So I would really, if we can schedule it, I think it's really a great thing to do because you'll see where all that $75 million or $56 million, whatever we're spending is going. <coughs> one, one is the state, one is us. I think we're the $56 million. Uh, on June 27th, we had a great forum at Oranoke Village. We had our councilman from the 8th and 9th District, um, Chairman Connor and Bill O'Brien there with us along with Mary Dean from Economic Development, Chris Timniak, the CAO, Brian Lampart, and it was a, a really great dynamic question and answer period. Um, I'm going to say the last thing about um, the parades for last, and then we had a wonderful celebration of the fireworks on July 3rd. Councilman Tiki, you sorry we missed you. You were in Florida viewing really good fireworks at Disney World, I heard, but ours were pretty good ourselves, so we really were happy about that. Um, the Stratford Beautification deadline is coming up this week on the 14th. Blues on the Beach is July 28th, and Downtown Market is August 26th. And semi-last, because I do have one thing after this, but I'd like to recognize the people who help make Stratford beautiful and more positive through our parades, through our Memorial Day Parade and um, the, the Barnum Festival Great Street Parade on July 1st. We have in the audience today is float master George Grom, his sister-in-law, Deborah Dean, and Rich Fredette. They are three of the five or six people that really worked hard on the floats and made, made it, us really proud to be Straffordites on the Memorial Day Parade as well as um, in Bridgeport on the Barn Festival Parade. So if you would come forward, we have some things for you. I get to say a few words? <laughs> a few words? You know I'm a man of few words. So first of all, I want to tell you, and it's for you guys to listen to this. Um, Mrs. Mayor, who I uh, went to high school with, has always been very enthusiastic about life. And uh, now she's very enthusiastic about Stratford. And we're on a uh, position to turn Stratford around. Okay, so when she asked me to do the float, other than trying to keep me busy because I'm now retired, uh, I realized it was an opportunity to expose Stratford in a different way and almost like a camaraderie. And most of you know I was a Marine and you know, I'm into all that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what, when we took that float to Bridgeport, I was never more proud to see Stratford being shouted out by Bridgeport residents and they were psyched. They were literally psyched. And that's what we're all about. You know, what we have in Stratford is for you guys. What we have in Stratford is an opportunity for people to move here. And the thing you can't forget about is the education. There's something we have in education that nobody else has that be, our neighbors don't, and that's diversity. And that's, you can't teach that in other schools. So for you guys, this float is just the beginning of what Laura created for us to have a great future for the town of Stratford. I had to do that, sorry. My wife is all embarrassed right now.
I never know Richie, he seems to have his hands everywhere, so we'll just, just for everybody. Well, as, our, as our commission chair, you're very involved in getting volunteers. He keeps the arts alive in town, thank you, Richie. Yes, sir. And, and without Rich, by the way, every time I called him, I know it's Rich. Because I said, I need a public works tractor. And next thing I know, I was down public works driving the tractor down to AFCO. And uh, he made a lot of things happen, so uh, Rich does do his job. Yeah. So we appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you for your indulgence. Also, the um, other two floats that were very prominent in, the, in both parades was the Iwo Jima float done by the Indian Guides Indian Princesses. They um, did a special bigger float for the Memorial Day Parade. Normally, they, each tribe does individuals, but they decided to put this one together, and it was spectacular. It was so impressive that they agreed to go into the Great Street Parade with the Barnum Festival, and then they also displayed it at the fireworks. Um, and then the last, but definitely not least, is the Connecticut Air and Space Center had their helicopter on a flatbed. And so they did that, displayed it in the Memorial Day Parade as well as the Great uh, Street Parade. So we're very thankful to have all this positive energy around Stratford. <coughs> then, Mr. Chairman, um, I request a motion to suspend the rules so I may add the following item to the agenda, the nomination by the mayor and appointment of the council members to, of the Architectural Review Board. Mr. Chair, I'll make that motion to suspend the rules per the mayor's request. Second. Motion by Mr. Motion by Mr. P is second by Mr. Kadim to suspend the rules to add architectural names to the uh, agenda. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Councilors. Um, I would like to place the following names in nomination for the Architectural Review Board. Oh, I'm sorry. We need a vote. Um, no, any discussion on this before we vote? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 8-0. Continue, Mayor. Thank you, Chair. Um, I would like to place the following names in nomination for the Architectural Review Board. Steve Law, expiration July 2022. Shannon Hovan, expiration July 2021. James Millward, expiration July 2022. Tom Sarkowitz, expiration July 2020. And John Sabell, expiration of July 2021. Uh, the major, mayor has put seven names forward. Five. Five. Five names forward. Is there any discussion on it? If not, I'll call to vote. All in favor of approving these, say aye. 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 Motion passes 8 0. Thank you, Chair. That concludes my report. Are there any questions for the mayor? Mr. O'Brien. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Going back to the town meeting at Ornock on the 27th of June, I have to mention a couple of the comments by residents. I love the one that said, I didn't vote for you, but I'm glad you're mayor. <laughs> and then there was a man who said they moved here from Fairfield about a year ago, and Stratford's getting a very good reputation. So that's kind of good stuff to hear. Then there was the complaints about the speeding and the stop sign on Ornock Lane. And as John um, Staley, I think, pointed out, that's not a problem just there. That's throughout town. I mean, I would say an average three times a day, I wish I was a traffic enforcement officer. So I'm hoping we can maybe find a grant to do a month crackdown on just basic uh, traffic violations. I know we crack down on cell phone calls and seat belts, but I'd like to see a crackdown. And I can tell you some streets that they could focus on. 
And then, of course, the other important topic up there that day was pickleball. And after years of discussion at Parks and Rec, we're finally going to make something happen with pickleball. <laughs> Mr. Kadeem, do you have a question for the mayor? Really not a question, more of just um, the same accolades. Uh, constituents reached out to me, streets that you've done so far, they really love the fact that they took the chance to fix those things up, like South Street, they love it because they get on the highway and get off the highway. There's so many potholes, you guys did a great job. I'm so glad that you guys are taking um, the constituents into mind, and I'm so happy that you're doing what you're doing. So I'm proud of you, and I just want to say thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, uh, the mayor's going to update us on the fire today. So as some of you know, the, there was a, a severe fire on uh, Research Drive today. It was um, in the Sonic Sphere telecommunications building where they make um, actually audio equipment. So it's not telecommunications, audio equipment. And um, I probably haven't been present at very many emergencies like that, but I was so impressed with how our fire our police, our EMS, and the HAZMAT responded. Um, it made me proud to be part of Stratford today. Um, and I know they train, and they, they are very diligent and professional about their jobs, but they were just really on point. And um, the irony was the call came in from a police officer, a traffic authority officer, Bill, um, who was patrolling that area because that's an area of problems normally. And he happened to see the smoke, and he called it in, and he got the one app, the one person in the building, got them to evacuate. So um, it was just really, really special because no one was hurt, and just r really optimal to see how well everyone performed. So I have to say I was very proud of our public safety folks today. If there's no more questions for the mayor, we're going to move on. Um, there's no committee reports. Um, 4.3.1, Building Needs Committee, can I get a motion for these uh, three change orders? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion uh, to talk about these three change orders, and I would like to see if uh, Mr. Llewellyn is here today to maybe um, give us some detail. M Mr. Llewellyn, there's a, well, first there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. O'Brien. Mr. Chairman, to be clear, the motion was to approve change order number 64 in the amount of $39,414, change order 69 in the amount of $527,914, and the roof sur survey work in the amount of $33,005. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. So, Mr. Llewellyn, can you come to the uh, podium and talk about these three items? Absolutely. Um, good evening. Before we get started, I just want to make one small correction. Um, Turner change order number 64 is in a credit amount of $39,414. Um, and so I'll start with that one. That's actually a reconciliation for the um, soil work that was done on the, uh, the west parcel, which is where the new building sits. Um, under change order number 008, we had actually originally approved um, 189538 the actual final cost for that change order came to 150123 leaving the balance of 39415 which is going to be a credit to then zero out that original change order. And then kind of following on with that, change order number 69 is basically the same scope of work for the east parcel which is where Turner's currently working um, this summer while school is out of session. Um, and so it, again, it's a similar scope. It's you know, what they anticipate um, encountering for contaminated soil that's gonna need to be um, removed from the site. Um, and they're at around plus or minus 4,500 cubic yards is what they estimate that they're gonna have to remove from that side. Um, similar to change order 64, when there's final costs for this, they'll be a uh, reconciliation, hopefully a credit reconciliation at the end when they're done with that work. And then with regards to the roof survey, um, you could actually cut that $33,000 amount in half. It's again an approval for a not to exceed amount. So 50% of that cost would be to perform um, x-ray scanning of the roof surface to find any um, 
kind of unknown or open penetrations that are in the roof, get them repaired and taken care of before they walk away. And then the other half of that work would be to do a thermo scan to see how far out into the insulation the water penetration in those leaks spread. And again, this is all about making sure that the insulation and the membrane are in the best shape they possibly can be so that we you know, are able to achieve the 35 year warranty on that roof. Are there any questions for Mr. Llewellyn? Yes. Mr. Kadeem. The x-ray of the roof, the x-ray of the roof, would it damage the parts that's already there? So, um, I don't know if anybody's been up there onto the roof, but I, I got the opportunity to go up there on the day they set the bridge. And basically all of the mechanical equipment is sitting sort of on structural supports and there's holes cut through the roof and all that gets flashed in and tied in. And so what they want to do is they want to be able to do an x-ray survey of the roof to see if there's any gaps in the work that they've done before they, um, they move on to the later phases of work. Because of your expertise, I know you know more than I do about this. That's why the question was, when they do the x-ray on it, would it damage with the existing roof? No, okay. no, it won't. And, that, and that's, the, that's kind of why they're looking to do this is because it's very, you know, it's very non-damaging. Um, I don't know if you've um, met or interac interacted at all with Dan Semp, but he's actually a gentleman who's a roofing professional from the roofing industry. And so at both the subcommittee level and that building needs committee level, we kind of deferred to his 30 plus years of roofing expertise to, to kind of guide us through on this, this particular issue. I just want to say thank you. And um, serving with you on the last council, I, that's why I defer to you all the time. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Any other questions before we call to vote? <coughs> If not, uh, I'm going to call the vote for all three of these items to be approved and moved with a favorable recommendation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 8-0. Next item is 4.4, is the town attorney's report. We just have one item tonight, which Mr. LeClaire will present. I do not believe we need executive session. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a uh, matter regarding 51 Shoreline Drive. Uh, it was a cottage that was destroyed uh, a number of years ago with no right to rebuild. So we would suggest that upon the request of the assessor that the 51 Shoreline Drive uh, taxes, that the tax bills uh, and account be moved to the suspense list so long as no structure is built there. Mr. Town Attorney, do you need a motion or are you just informing us? Yes, I'm asking us? that someone make okay. that motion, that okay. someone move that the tax bills and account uh, okay, the there's a, list would someone make a motion to move okay. the tax bill and account to suspense per request of tax assessor? Mr. Hardin, make a motion. I would like to Mr. Tickey, second. Is there any questions for the town attorneys? If not, we'll call to a vote. All in favor? I have a question. Sorry. Okay, Mr. Kadeem, last. The, the structure. Right the, burnt, 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 I'm sorry, guys. I was going to say right at the buzzer, the old I'm sports so, thing. I got you. But thank you, by the way, for making that concession. Um, so this property that was burnt down, it's been how long has it been on, on vacant? Or? Yeah, I don't know how it was destroyed, but it was in 91 or 92, according okay. to Attorney Jackson's office. It was destroyed, and there is no right to rebuild the structure. Thank you very much. Any further questions? If not, we'll call to vote. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes 8-0. We'll go to 7.1, looking for a motion to establish a foregrown appropriation of fund balance is there a motion mr chair i'll make the motion mr uh, pia point one motion for 7.1.1 and mr town attorney can i group them together or are we just ask for the first one you do one at a time with one at a time so i'll make a motion to approve 7.1.1 second second by mr tickey is there any discussion any discussion if not call to a vote all in favor Aye. Motion passes 8-0. Mr. Mr. Pia, would you like to talk about 7.1.2? Yes, Mr. Chair, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to approve 7.1.2. There's a second. motion second by Mr. Tickey, motion by Mr. Pia. Is there any discussion? If not, I'll call to vote. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes 8-0. We're now to appointments. We've already done the architectural review board. Thank you, Mayor, for that. There's nothing down to 
7.2.7 Stratford Housing Authority. Mr. Pia, do you have a motion? I do, Mr. Chair. I'd like to appoint for 7.2.7 .7, Melissa Dempsey uh, to be appointed to the Stratford Housing Authority, uh, expiring, uh, expiring June 30th of 2021. There's a motion from Mr. Pia. Is there a second? Second, second by Mr. Hardin. Is there any discussion about Ms. Ms. Dempsey being appointed to the Housing Authority? If not, we'll call the vote. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> motion passes 8 0. 7.2.8. Mr. O'Brien, is there a motion? Sarah Martin, expiring December 2019. I'll second that. There's a sec uh, motion from Mr. O'Brien, second by Mr. Pia to put Sean Kennedy on the Parks and Recs Committee. Is there any other discussion? If not, we'll call the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 8-0. Now here's a tough one. Is there a motion to adjourn? M moved by Mr. Hardin, seconded by Mr. Tickey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 8-0. Thank you.